Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning is an agonizing cinematic monstrosity akin to diving headfirst into a barbed wire infested pool filled with hydrochloric acid. It's a cataclysmic storm of narrative brutality where logic is trampled, gutted, and its carcass paraded on a chariot of narratorial ineptitude. Tom Cruise returns once again as Ethan Hunt, now with all the charm of a regurgitated lasagna. He embarks on a mission that's about as impossible as scratching your ass and not smelling your fingers immediately afterwards. The writers must have forgotten the difference between saving the world and simply going out for a few hours to run some errands. Hey, Tom Cruise, next time I need someone to dismantle an intergalactic network of quantum encrypted spy satellites wired to an arsenal of nuclear warheads marinating in a simmering cauldron of lava, conveniently positioned in the belly of an extinct volcano teeming with a frenzy of mutant radioactive sharks. I'll call a plumber. And the villain? Let's just say his threat level could be matched by a sleep-deprived kitten. His grand plan? To plunge the entire galaxy into a cosmic blackout by activating his doomsday device capable of creating a singularity potent enough to consume the entire solar system. How cute. Hunt's response to this half-baked plan for universal domination has all the urgency of a narcoleptic tortoise attempting to run a marathon. Simon Pegg is back as Benji, with a performance so wooden he could be mistaken for a park bench. The attempt at humor between him and Tom Cruise has the comedic value of an augmented reality colonoscopy. The film's final act is an absolute snooze fest when Hunt travels back in time to disable the black hole generator while fighting off an undead army of vampire ninja Nazis with the help of his trusty sidekick, the Church of Scientology. The sequence is about as exciting as a game of strip poker in a retirement home. When the closing credits finally bring mercy, and the universe is predictably saved from its untimely demise, the relief is less about Hunt's success and more akin to surviving an emergency appendectomy with a rusty coat hanger and not enough ketamine. In the end, Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 is an absolute catastrophe that deserves to be cast into the fiery pits of cinematic hell. Steer clear of this space-time defiling monstrosity as though your sanity depends on it. Because, quite frankly, it does.